Hey Space Cadets, Lanchin here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, thanks so much for being here. And if you are new, thanks for tuning in. There was a recent space event that happened, the total lunar eclipse. You've probably heard about it, but if you were one of those people that did not hear about it, there was a total lunar eclipse. So a total lunar eclipse is what happens when the moon passes in front of the Earth's shadow and all of the Earth's sunsets and sunrises get casted onto the moon shadow and it turns it red. A long time ago, they called it the flower moon or blood moon because it would turn red, but now we know it mostly as a total lunar eclipse. This was actually my first time witnessing this in person with my own eyes and it was really freaking awesome. I even got this awesome Celestron Total Lunar Eclipse t-shirt to remember the event by. <laughs> because I wasn't doing a time lapse of the entire event, I actually slept in quite a bit till about 3.45 and then I woke up and went and checked it out and I stayed up till about 5.45. Bray ended up waking up at 1.15 or something so he could start filming. So he was up for the entire event, which is crazy because he only had one hour of sleep. But you know, when you love what you're doing, it doesn't matter. So first things first, we drove up to Fresno. It was partly cloudy pretty much everywhere in the LA area. So we had to leave town and go somewhere pretty far away in order to guarantee clear skies and our best chance of getting good photos. So my boyfriend, he is at Astro Falls on Instagram. He's an astrophotographer, so he is super into making sure that he gets the best shots possible. He's the one that arranged where we went and where we could get the best views for this. We went up there with a couple of friends who were also shooting as well. And yeah, it was a three hour drive out there, but we went to this nice campground. It was really beautiful. This event was next level for me because I actually was using my Celestron telescope that I recently got. If you saw the unboxing video and if you wanna check it out and see what I got, you can click this button up here, wherever it's at on the screen. Yeah, so I was able to bring that and actually view the event a lot closer than you would just seeing it with your eyes. So once we got everything set up, we ended up going to bed and then it was just the waiting game until our alarms went off and we had to get up, start shooting and viewing the event. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Holy crap, that is freaking crazy. Do you see this? Oh, we're leaving it. That looks pretty nice. The resident YouTuber. Oh, your light. Way better than on my. Oh yeah. Just Damn, that's so sick. He's older. So Bray was shooting a time lapse. He was also shooting on three different telescopes. Oh uh, yeah, nice. that's the spot. Ooh. So right after Bray got his first good shot, he instantly started editing it to post on Instagram. So that's what he's doing right here. All right, I'll just say this. It was a lot more dim of a red in person. When I looked through my scope, oh my gosh, it was just super, super red. I get why they call it a blood moon. I'm so happy that I had that scope because of what I got to witness by looking through it. So luckily I was able to capture some images on my iPhone through my Celestron telescope and these are the iPhone images that I got and I think these look freaking awesome. I think they look great and I'm very very proud of them. So 
So Bray was shooting a time lapse which required him to stay up the full time shooting the lunar eclipse from beginning to end. As the sun began to rise, I decided it was time to go to bed. And that is how my late night morning ended. I think that if you've never seen a total lunar eclipse, it's definitely something you'll wanna check out at least once in your life or every time if you have the chance. So the main things that you wanna look out for when you are wanting to view the lunar eclipse is to make sure that it's clear where you are and you check timeanddate.com to see when the best time it is to view it in your area. And then you wanna check your weather forecast as well to make sure it's even viewable if you can see it. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this. If you are interested in checking out all the people that were in this video that were shooting epic photos, you can find all of their links below to their Instagrams if you wanna check out their work as well. It's seriously amazing, you will not regret it. And if you wanna get your total lunar eclipse shirt, just like this one from Celestron. They have lots of different styles, but this is personally my favorite. You can find that below in the link in the description box. Wait, what? Also, I have a release that's coming up this Sunday, a new resin release. And if you guys are interested in checking that out, please be sure to sign up for my email list. And that is where I release all of my pieces and notify you when stuff is becoming available. You can find that below too, or here if I can put a link, but I don't know if I can. All right, Space Cadets, that's it. Till next time. <laughs> Hello.